Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we are going to look at the solos to Creeping Death by Metallica. So, uh, you know, Kirk Hammond on this one had a lot of caffeine that day. There's, there's a lot going on. There's like a million ideas just crammed in this. Uh, it's a relatively long solo, but it just seems like there's just, just so many licks to learn. Anyway, so we're going to take out that main solo that I just played. We're also going to take a look at uh, a little guitar fill that happens. Um, just kind of on a whim in the middle of the song coming out of the breakdown section and then we're going to take a look at the harmony solo and uh, the outro solo so got a lot of work here so we're still in standard tuning here we're going to start with this first phrase <laughs> All right, so what is going on there? It's a pattern, it's a sequence, so it's not that hard to memorize. Um, at first, we're just gonna do it three notes up, then three notes down. So let's do this, 12, 13, 15 on the B. There's your three notes up. Then shift up, and you're gonna play 17, 15, 13. So it's three notes down. I'm just straight alternate picking. All right, and now we're gonna move up do another three notes up. This time it's going to be 14, 15, 17. And then 19, 17, 15 down. So we have this. All right, now from there, we're just going to ascend the entire time in patterns of th in just three note groups. All right, so what we just did was the 19, 17, 15. We're going to do that again, but ascend it. Now move up and do the same thing, 17, 19, 20. Then 19, 20, 22. And then those same three notes over on the high E string. So we have. And then. Those bends there at the 22nd fret on the high E string. Now some of these, if you don't want to pick every note, he'll sometimes do a little legato in there. Like, so you can pick the first note of three and hammer on. I like the sound when they're all picked, but sounds good the other way as well. And then we have this section. All right, so what's going on here? This is a descending legato phrase. Uh, it's pretty repetitive. We're going to be you know, basically picking the top note, 22nd fret here, pulling off to 20, then 19, and sliding down to 17. So that's the pattern. Then do the same pattern again. This time you play uh, 21 to 19, 17, and slide down to 15. Then the same pattern again, pulling off 19, 17, 15, slide down to 14. Then same pattern again, pulling off 17, 15, 14, slide down to 12. So all together. Alright, so from here we're going to just basically go, we're just basically pull off 15, 14, 12 on the high E, then the same thing on the B. Alright, and then you're going to pull off 14 to 12 again, slide down to 10, and then a whole set band at the 12th fret on the G. Next phrase. All 
All right, so we have um, an oblique bend here, which is means you're holding the 15th fret on the B, and then you're holding the 14th fret on the G, but you're bending it. And then you're going to play the two 12s on the B and the G over to 14 on the D. Then come back, 12, 14 on the G, and when you get to that 14, some more bend and release there. Back to 12, and back to 14. So we have this. All right, now we have this. So that's gonna start with the 12th fret there. And then the actual pattern that's repeated is, so that's a quick bend of the 14th on the G string, over to 12 on the B, and then pull off 15 to 12 on that B string twice. Now you repeat that three times. And end it with that whole step then there. Slow. Alright, now this next phrase is really cool. It sounds like this. Alright, so there's lots of little sequences going on there. So we're gonna start here. This first one's built off of out of E minor pentatonic. We're gonna start with the um, first note here, which is the 12th fret on the high E. Then we start with the three note patterns. We're gonna pull off 15 to 12 on the high E, over to 15 on the B. So that's your first three notes. Now we're going to do the same three note pattern down from the, the next note down the scale. So we started from 15, now we're going to start from 12, pick that note, and then pull off 15 to 12 on the B. So the next three notes down. So picking them all would be this. But he's pulling off whenever he can. So if it's the same note, two notes on the same string, pull off, pull off. Then you're going to pull off again 15 to 12 and make it to this 14th fret on the G. So we have this. Now shift up to the 14th fret here and grab that note. And then we have this. So that's that same thing, but out of the full E minor scale. Pulling off 17 to 15 on the high E, and then picking 14. Then picking 14, I'm sorry, 15, pull off to 14. So it's the next note down in the scale. We have this note, three notes down, then three notes down from this one, then three notes down from this one. So once again, pull off, pick, pull off, pick, pick, then pull off 17 to 15 on the beat. Shift back down to the 12th fret here on the high E. Pick that note and pull off 14, I'm sorry, 15 to 14. And then pull off 15, 14, 12, and then now we're just gonna kind of leave this pattern. So the whole pattern was. All right, and run from there. And that's just 14, 12 on the G, 14 on the D, back to 12, 14 on the G. Slide into the 19th fret on that G string. 18 on the B, 17 on the high E string. Into a whole step bend of the 20th fret on the high E string. All right, now we have some sweet picking. Sounds like this. All right, that ending part wasn't sweet picking. So we're basically going to just take this A minor arpeggio. So we're going to go down, it says 14 on the G, to 13 on the B, to 12 on the high E. So those are the three notes you're sweeping, and then you're going to have the 17th fret on the high E as well. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to sweep across with one downstroke those three notes, starting from the G, then you make it to the 17th fret here on the high E with your little finger. 
pick that with an upstroke, pull off to the 12th fret, and then into another upstroke, or just one solid stroke, one upstroke across the second string there for that 13th fret. So we're going back down. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Down, up, down. All right, so he repeats that a few times. Four times in. And this little. What's going on is a quick little trill. Just 12, 15, back to 12 on the high E. Then 15, 12 on the B, to 14 on the G. And then, same thing basically. Just basically starting from the B string now. It's gonna be 14, 12 on the G, to 14 on the D. Sorry. Back to the 12 on the G, and back to the oblique bend that we did earlier. Now there's a ascending thing that's really kind of a random sound he's doing. Now I've watched him do this live on tape and everything just to kind of really it's a, you can tell he's just kind of gliding up one string. Just trying to build some tension and stuff. So what he's doing is he's basically trimming low picking, so just basically alternate picking on the D string as fast as you can. And what he's doing in the left hand is just kind of quickly going between one and two. Now take that, starting from the second fret, and just basically go up the string and just kind of time it to where these licks, next licks start right when that ends. So you just keep going on. Now you're going to ascend basically this, this F sharp minor pentatonic here, which is uh, just hammering um, 14 to 16 on the G, 14, 17 on B, and 14, 17 on the high E. Now when you get to that 17th fret, now we're going to start our descending patterns. Now the first two look like this. Let me just play through it real quick. Alright, so what's going on there, we're going to be pulling off 17 to 14 on the high E, the same thing on the B, and then playing 16 on the G, back to 14 on the B. Now we're going to take the same lick, but put it across the scale starting from the B string. So now we're going to have pulling off 17 to 14 on the B, pulling off 16 to 14 on the G, to 16 on the D, back to 14 on the G. So we're following this scale. So we just did this pattern. And then from here. Now the patterns get a little bit tighter, a little bit shorter. So we work our way down now. It's gonna be the basically the pattern is gonna be a little three note descending patterns again, pulling off 16 to 14 on the G to 16 on the D, back to 14 on the G and then pulling off 16 to 14 on the D. So we have that. So get used to that pattern. Now start that pattern on the D string. All right, now we're gonna continue the same pattern, but you gotta play it a little differently because there's a little position shift in the middle of it. Basically, you're gonna pick, pull off 16 to 14 on the A, slide down to 12, and then pull off 14 to 12, over to 14 on the low E string. They climb up 12, 14 on the A, 12 twice on the D, and then we make it to this uh, 14th fret on the D, which starts that kind of melody line. That melody line sounds like this. All right, it's the only time you get to breathe in this solo. So that's starting the 14th fret on the D, 
then hit it again, then 11, 12, 14 on the G, back to 12, then a hammer pull from 11 to 12, back to 11, over to 12 on the D. Now we're going to us in again, 14, 11, 12, 14, try this, then 12, 13, 15 on the B, to 12 on the high E. From there, that's 12, 14, got to shift up to 14. 15, 17, 15, 14, 12, up to 17. And then 17, 19, 20, 19, 17, 15. All right, and now we have this last phrase. Alright, so that starts here with the 12th fret on the high E. Now we have a repetitive licks that just kind of continue. They're just descending three note legato licks. And the first three notes are going to be 15, 14, 12 on the high E. And you're going to pick them just with a downstroke, the first note, and pull off to the next two. Keep doing that, and then move up, same lick, just different notes now. 17, 15, 14, La Haye. Slowly going up. Now, 19, 17, 15 on La Haye. Then 20, 19, 17. And then 22, 20, 19. And then 22nd fret, four of them. So now, they, he doesn't play them all the exact same amount of time, so if you just know it by ear, it's the easiest thing. Alright, so I just counted there for you. So the first one is eight. Second one is eight. Third one is four. Then two, two. Now that last thing he just grabs, I think it's an overdub, we're just grabbing the um, power chord of the 12th fret on low E. And that takes us into the breakdown. Alright, so that's the main solo. Now we have uh, a little guitar lick that happens at about, uh, it's the 4 minute 20 second, 26th second mark. Sounds like this, really quick. All right, and then it takes us back to the verse. So that comes at the very end of the the breakdown. So that's heavily palm muted. You're gonna go 12, 14, 15 on the A. Same thing on the D. Shift up to 17, 15, 14. Shift back down to 12. If you want to grab that note there, you can. And we're going to end it with these, that's 14 on the A, 15 on the D, 16 on the G, 17 on the B. Alright, so now there's an outro solo section. Now it's a ha gu guitar harmony. Um, so I'm going to play here uh, Kirk Hammett's part, which is the higher harmony, and, uh, and then the little licks that he goes into. And then we'll kind of come back around and uh, show you how those parts. They're really short, really easy to play. Sound is, sounds like this. So I kind of shortened it there. So we have the main melody here, which is that's pulse that been released at the 15th on the B, 13, 12. 
Now we're going to do the same kind of thing, but we're going to bend at the 12th fret, just a half step, bend and release. 10, back to 13. So we have this. Let's repeat that. Now James Hetfield's part sounds like this. So that's a whole step bend and release at the 14th fret on the G. Then 12, 11. Then 11 half step bend and release. 9 to 12. All right, so while that harmony section is going on, we have the kind of rapid guitar uh, ultra solo that um, Kirk Hammett does. It's the same lick, just done in a couple different areas. All right, what's going on there? We have 19th fret on the B, pull off to 16, then pull off to the open B string. Now, you can kind of just take your middle finger and hold your, just touch your, the first string, the high E string, so you don't do this, so you don't run the risk of doing that. And then just move it up one fret to 20 and 17, pull off to the open B. Repeat that. back to the outro. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a, it's a really cool song, got a lot of cool rhythms in it that are good exercises for the, uh, you know, the fast palm muted stuff. And of course the solo's got tons of licks that uh, could keep you busy for a while. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.